All right, it has been a very busy weather day across the country. Yes, it sure has, and so we're talking about storms possibly moving into our area, too. Yes, fortunately, nothing like we experienced this afternoon, this evening, tonight for central southern portions of the plains. We are going to have a few strong storms, likely Sunday evening, but not looking like a big tornado outbreak. So that's good news for us. We've had our fair share of crazy weather so far this year, but it has certainly been crazy weather across parts of Iowa and Nebraska, where we've had numerous large long track tornadoes reported. We even had a few tornadoes that were reported just to the north of Waco shortly after lunchtime, and that outbreak just continued to blossom into portions of Kansas and up into Iowa and Nebraska where we've had some of the worst tornadoes of today and tonight. In fact, you can see all of these tornado reports and we have had about 90 tornado reports at this point just from today with this big outbreak going on across the center portion of the country. So, like I said, the good news for us is the fact that we are not expecting any tornadoes here. This system will stay far enough to our west to where we may get a stray shower tonight and tomorrow, but no severe weather expected for the first part of the weekend. So that is good news. If you're maybe going to get in a little miniature golf or head out and go to a real golf course tomorrow, go to the park, go to the beach. No severe storms expected. That threat should remain north for our area tonight, and it should remain to our north for tomorrow. It will be a warm, humid and breezy Saturday with just a slim shot for rain. But as we push into the second half of the weekend, there will be a better chance for more widespread heavy downpours and yes, a few strong storms, but still not looking like any major tornado outbreak for us. 77 degrees. It is warm. It is breezy and muggy across Houston for tonight. We've been pretty windy all day long and we've had a decent amount of cloud cover. Overall, this system will start to creep a little bit closer to us, especially by Sunday. So that will bump up our rain chances. But I think for Saturday, hey, we're looking good as we check out our future cast. The clouds will be a little thick for the morning and afternoon. But notice there's not much rain at all showing up for our area. Any threat for strong to severe storms for tomorrow should stay to our north. Now let's hop into Sunday. I think it will be a mostly cloudy start. Maybe a few showers Sunday morning, but I think it will be Sunday, likely after 3 p.m., when we'll start to have that better chance for more widespread heavy downpours. And yes, there could be a couple of strong thunderstorms mixing in as well Sunday evening into Sunday night. As far as rain chances, not really looking like a big chance for rain for Saturday, but for Sunday, there will be a 60% chance for showers and storms. Still scattered rain and storms in place for the area for Monday as you head back to work and Tuesday, still spotty showers with a limited shot for rain as we go into the middle of next week. So here is what we're looking like for the weekend for Sunday. There will be a threat for some street flooding, at least a low chance from Houston and areas north. I think between the Woodlands and Huntsville, you'll have the highest risk for that and over towards Bryan and College Station, but there will certainly be the chance for some heavy downpours. As far as that severe weather outlook, not expecting anything for us today or tomorrow. So that is good news. If you are going to be participating in Ironman Texas, of course, that starts at 625 a.m. tomorrow in the Woodlands. It is going to be warm even early in the morning, middle 70s, but middle to upper 80s by the early afternoon, mostly cloudy, and there could be some wind gusts around 30 to 35 miles per hour that you'll have to deal with. Of course, we got the Texas MS 150 going on this weekend as well up around College Station. No major issues expected Saturday, but for Sunday, there could be some heavy downpours, especially by the afternoon to affect things up there. So bottom line, there will be some hit or miss showers and storms for this weekend. We're not looking like a total weekend washout with our weather, but overall, just stay weather aware, stay alert, make sure you have our Fox 26 weather app, but don't panic. Of course, there's a big severe tornado outbreak going on across the center of the country, but it's not expected to be that bad here. So good news for us. Yeah, bring the umbrella and be prepared. Yes.